Hello everyone. This is the metric system lab. This is one meter. And then if you look at it, on the other side of this ruler, it's the inches. But on this side, it is metric one meter. This is how long is a meter, almost equivalent to one yard. It's not exactly the same, but anyhow. So one meter is made up of um, uh, 10, uh, it's right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 uh, decimeter, okay? And then each decimeter is 10 centimeter. Can you guys see this? And look, between each line is one millimeter. You guys can see that? From one little line to next little line is one millimeter. We still can see it with naked eye. We still can see it with naked eye. And then from uh, one line, from for example, one to two, we see that one to two is one centimeter. I hope you all can see that. Between one and two, there are 10 little lines, which is 10 millimeter. So I will talk about that a little bit later on on metric system. So this is one meter. And then in your lab report, I ask you guys to measure parts of your body. You do not have at home, you do not have skeleton right here, okay? You do not have this, but you do have a, uh, a, a measuring tape, for example. And then again, a lot of measuring tapes, they have inches and please make sure you use the centimeter. So on the table in your lab report, if you put uh, inches, then I would not. So you grab a measuring tape around your skull right here. That would be, that would be, for example, I have to put my glasses, that in my, around the parameter of my skull is about uh, 55 centimeter, okay? not 22 inches. See, some of you put down 22, in, 22, and I know it's wrong. So, you do not have measuring tape at home. You do not have it. So, you can grab a cord or a string. You don't have to. You, do, you can grab a cord or string like this, and then go around your skull like that, and then this is how is the parameter of my skull and grab a ruler at home you have or in the Google. You can Google it to show you the actual on your screen of your computer. It will show you the actual length of a ruler. Same thing, but you will have it on your computer screen. So that would be, uh, this is up to, here is, you put a tape or something here. That is about 30 centimeter up to here and then you move it up, you go, come on, right here when I have a tape, it is about this much, so that's, it still came up to um, uh, 55 centimeter. So that's what I want you to do uh, in the, uh, for the measuring that, uh, the length of your, as I said, you do not have skeleton, but your femur, I ask you what is the length of your femur, you just put it on your body parts, and then I, in the lab, I gave you the, uh, I gave you the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the drawing of this. I gave you the drawing of the skeleton. Okay, so that is for the, uh, the length. The other part of the lab, I ask you for the volume. For example, this is one liter. Everybody can see that? It's one liter. This is also one liter. This is graduate cylinder, uh, this is, I'm sorry, this is beaker, this is my flask, different sizes. You guys can see that we have smaller than this, we have bigger than this, we have two liter, we have all of these. my flask, they all come in different sizes. And then we have graduate cylinder. This is one liter of a graduate cylinder. This is 100 uh, milliliter of graduate cylinder. So that's another the volume you have to measure. The other part of volume is uh, the pipette. These little, these structures, can you guys see this? It's pipette, and then you put it in here. Uh, they have a tip, oh my God. Uh, yep, well, I guess this is the right one. So the way it works, you put it in here, and you put it in the uh, water, and you pull it up, 
and then you can measure 5 milliliter. So this is more accurate than graduate cylinder. Of course, this measures small volumes. This is all, all the way up to 10 uh, uh, liter. And then we have smaller pipettes. Look at look how small this one is, if it is an open one. See, this is a very small pipette. It measures about one milliliter or five. I have to put my glasses and read it how far that is. Smaller than that are, they call these micro pipette. You do have pictures of these in the uh, lab um, uh, draw, uh, modules. And then the tip for these micro pipette are these. For example, for this one, different sizes, you have a tip, you put it in here, and that's how it is working. I hope you guys can see that. And then I put it back, we didn't use it. So different sizes, different uh, type of uh, pipette. Okay, the next thing I ask you in the lab for uh, weighing uh, things, um, this is a scale, as you can see it, it's uh, 59.82 gram, there is nothing on it, you can zero it, when you press zero, it is zero, then you put weighing boat, like this, or a smaller one, they all come in different sizes, look at all of the different sizes of weighing boat, okay, so, but I grab this one, and then right now, can you see the weight of the weighing boat is 2.2, uh, uh, 2.20 grams, okay, then you can zero it. Of course, you don't have this at home, but I ask you at home, object A and object B, let's say a marble, can you guys see this? A marble is object A, for example, and I put it in here, look, the weight of the marble is 3.74 gram. Can you guys see that? Okay, great. Now I move it and put it back. The object B is a bean. I hope you guys can see that. And I put that in there, look, the weight of the bean is 0.23 grams. So you don't have to uh, ask question, Amir, what was object B, what was object C. Here we go, I, I showed you guys what those are. And then at the end of the day, I will back, I will zero it and for the next person who wants to use it. Okay, so we've done this. You know, the lab that you're supposed to measure ice water, uh, thermometer, okay, ice water and cold water, you know, cold water is what, uh, zero Celsius, you know, uh, so you can write down zero Celsius. Hot water is 100 Celsius, okay? So again, you don't have to um, do those things at home, but here they are. I think I showed you everything. On this one, the, um, let me scoot it over. I hope, is this, oh, hey, is this okay? Can you record it pretty good here? The King Hunt, you know, I gave you a, a little uh, thing, uh, uh, mnemonics in the lab. King Hunt Dragon, because Dragon Chase Maiden Loon. Of course, this is millimeter, this is micrometer or microliter or microgram. And then this is nanometer, nanogram, nato. So K, K is kilo. H stands for uh, hecta, D, deca, B is the basis of your metric system, which is for the length is meter, for the volume is liter, and for, um, for uh, weight, for mass is gram. Right? You guys can see that. And then this one is the less than. These are bigger than. This is 10,000, uh, this is 1,000 times, 100 times, 10 times. These are 1 over 10, 1 over 100, okay? 1 over milli is 1 over 1,000, and then this is over 1 million. Oh, one more zero, okay. 1 over 1 million, and nano is 1 over... One, uh, is it one, uh, uh, it should be one billion. Okay, anyhow, I think it's 1099. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so uh, you have three more zeros in here, see, on the bottom. 
So if I give you a number, like I say 55 meter, 55.0 meter is equal to how many centimeter? One, two. So you gotta move the decimal twice to the right. One, two. So it is equal to 5500.0. Five, zero, zero zero. You see, I moved the decimal twice from here because meter, right? You gotta move the decimal here is 5,500 centimeter. If I say 55 meter is how many hectometer, then you're gonna move the decimal this way twice, right? The decimal goes one, two, and then it's point z 0 0.55 hectometer. Do you follow? I hope I'm making some sense. And let's say you have something like um, of 5,289.012 uh, milliliter is equal to, for example, how many liter? Right? So you have, you have milliliter, I gave you that. Then you gotta move one, two, three. You gotta move the decimal. You wanna get to the liter, right? You gotta move the decimal three times to that side. So one, let me do a different color. One, two, three is 5.289012 liter. I hope you guys got the gist of it. And that is the lab for metric system. Again, uh, a lot of you in the past ask you, okay, I don't know, this is a measuring tape, you have it or not. Uh, if not, you can use a cord, uh, measure your body parts. For example, your uh, uh, ulna, radius ulna right here. Okay, so uh, humerus up here, you put a tape here, you ask somebody, or you can hold it right here to here, that's your humerus. Okay, and so on, a female right here, or other parts of the body I asked. Uh, your sternum right here, um, as I said, the parameter of your skull. If not, you, do, you have a string at home, then uh, call up the Google. Uh, one other thing, quickly, this is the lab. It is the very first lab. Oh, hang on, I will be with you, hang on. Just keep it there, uh, let me. Oh, come on. Okay, so this is, oh, you did it. So this is, is that okay? So this is the lab you guys are doing. You see I said uh, King Hunt Dragon, Chase Maiden, and right here, all of the um, prefixes. I, get, I got this from my son, uh, schoolwork, and I thought, oh, but this is nice, very nice. I put it in here. So he should get the credit for this, uh, not me. Uh, here's a volume, all of the things. Make sure you draw things for me and so on and so forth, object A, object B, right here, I already gave them to you, temperature, you don't have it, do not worry about it, it's, these are the body parts that I ask you, make sure you refer to the drawing that I gave you in the lab, I do not have the drawing in here, but make sure you uh, refer to the drawing and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, have a good day and then I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.